Hello everyone and welcome back to Wall Street Homestead. This is a slightly different type of video getting into the time of the year it is, the fall and November and Thanksgiving. And everybody's thankful for things in their lives. Uh, this is going to be a collaboration with other YouTube channels and uh, we each are going to do a small video that we're all going to put together and, and each of us will put out. So continue watching and watch all of the separate segments in this video and then go to each of those channels and subscribe if you haven't already and check them out because they're all good channels so sit back and enjoy this uh, time of thankfulness and we'll be back at, at the end Sweetwater Diaries channel here and we have a very special video today and we're super excited. We are going to be sharing this video with other farmers and homesteaders and we we are going to tell you what we are thankful for this year. We're just picking five, each of us. The top five for me are number one is I have to first and foremost thank my fellow farmers and homesteaders because I know how much hard work goes into keeping a farm. It's a thankless job most of the time and you're doing it 24-7 but you know in the end it's worth it and the things that we have we we really need to thank our fellow farmers for. Whether you're big or small I really appreciate your hard work. So that's my number one thing I'm thankful for. Number two that I'm thankful for is of course our farm. We are organic hay farm as many of you know and we run goats and sheep to help maintain our fields. I'm super thankful for the farm and our critters. We have learned so much. It has been a lot of hard work, but it's also taught us a lot of life lessons. There are days where everything's going wrong, and then there are days where you filled your barn up with hay, and you have happy, healthy goats, and all that joy and happiness, and it just feels so good, and you feel so accomplished, and we have learned so much. And I'm so excited for him to be able to learn this way of life. It will give him so many skills, whether he chooses to be a farmer, an uh, astronaut, a doctor, a musician or whatever his life choices may be, he, he will learn so many important valuable skills and appreciation of hard work. Number three is our local community. We have a great local community. We help each other out. If ever there was some sort of crisis or you need help with a mama goat who's giving birth and you need a second set of hands, I can just get online and go onto our local community page or I can just talk to my neighbors and they would be happy to show up without question and that's huge. So I am super grateful for our local community and our neighbors. Number four. We are thankful for our friends and our family. They've always been super supportive. They show up here to visit us, roll up their sleeves, and they're ready to help us do things around here. They're just great family, great friends. They've supported us through some really tough times that we've gone through, and they've been there and given us advice, and so they're wonderful, and we love them very much. My last, and one of the most important, there's a few other things, but this one's right up there, is we are thankful for our immediate family. Nate is such a great husband and a great father, and he works hard and he everything he does, he does for me and Ollie and for our family and people around us and he has a really big heart, works really hard. He's just a great guy and we love him and I love him and he's the best. Of course, I cannot forget my little friend. He is a blessing to us and he has taught us so much and he has kind of opened our lives. Every, every day is an adventure. It's easy to get stuck in tunnel vision on the farm, but with Ollie, it's like every day we come out here and we're exploring and we're seeing the farm through a new set of eyes and our world is getting big again. He's such a great, great little guy and full of adventures and we love him to pieces. So we're super grateful for him. I just want to thank you as well. Thank you guys for watching and letting us share with you. We appreciate you. We hope you continue to enjoy our videos and please check out the other farmers and homesteaders who are on this video because they're awesome. Yeah, definitely subscribe to their page, like them, check out their videos. They're really cool, interesting people and we really appreciate be sharing this video with them and we wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it and if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, we just wish you lots of things that you could be thankful for. Thanks again. Bye. Bye from all of us at Sweetwater Diaries. We'll see you next time. So the five things that I am thankful for. Number one, of course, is family. I love my family and spending time with my family. So of course, they are number one. Number two would be our friends. It's always nice to 
and get away um, and just hang out even or even just having friends over I mean whichever um, friends are always good to have number three I am so thankful that we have this property um, on 22 acres um, that we're able to do whatever we want with it. We don't have to worry about HOAs or guidelines and rules. Well, we still have to, you know, be cautious of it, but not nearly as much as when we were in the city. Uh, number four <laughs> would be our animals. I'm so thankful that we are able to have animals um, to raise the cows and the chickens, the um, jerseys that we have now. So we'll be making milk. Well, we won't be making milk, but we'll be making cheese and ice cream and so many other things. So I am definitely thankful for the animals that we have. Also, so number five would be I am so thankful that we have jobs to be able to have our property um, and to be able to do all the things that we want to do. So those are my five reasons. Hello everyone. Welcome to Wall Street Homestead. I'm Ann and this is Andy and we are doing a Thanksgiving collaboration with our other homesteading friends. Um, we're just going to talk quickly about the five things that we are most thankful for in this year of 2019. And I'll start it off. Um, I'm, we are most thankful for our faith in, in God and uh, in His abilities and His mercies to cover everything we've done, um, our shortcomings and our abilities, and he's just made everything um, work out for us this year. Um, boy, the pollinators are working good today. Um, <laughs> the second thing I'm most thankful for, and Andy's most thankful for, is our family. I'm very thankful for Andy and for all of his support and, and his hard work and raising his kids and taking care of all of us. I'm very, very thankful for our children and our daughter-in-law and and our brand new uh, granddaughter that's coming in December, December 1st, and that'll be our first one. So we're just very, very, very blessed and we, we thank God for that. We're also thankful for our home. We've been in our current home for 20 plus years uh, and uh, it has served us well, raised our family. It is a large enough piece of property that now that we've decided to start homesteading and growing garden and possibly some livestock that we can do some really small scale uh, livestock uh, operations. But we're very blessed that it's been a, kept us sheltered from the weather and kept us warm and has been a home that we've enjoyed and had good times in. Uh, with our family and through all the good good get-togethers we've had. Uh, next thing we're ample, ex happy for is this country we live in, the fine United States of America uh, with the, the freedoms that we are allowed to enjoy in this country uh, that we are able to express ourselves through YouTube videos uh, just like this one and for the veterans and the current uh, service men and women who protect those rights and those freedoms. Uh, we are just uh, ex extremely thankful for all of the veterans in the past, the current service men and women, and all future uh, veterans and, and servicemen, because uh, they have sometimes made the ultimate sacrifice to protect these rights and freedoms. So that is one thing we're extremely thankful for. And number five that we're thankful for is our treasures that we have gained through YouTube, which is other homesteading friends. We really appreciate you. We love the knowledge that we've learned from everyone. Um, just the support um, that I've gotten, comments, 
Uh, I just can't believe how wonderful the homesteading community is, how nice people are. Uh, I too agree with that. It's a, it's a wealth of knowledge. It's, it's interesting to see how different people in different parts of the country have their uh, handle their homesteads and their issues in their parts of the country. Uh, we are in the southwest part of Kansas and I'm sure we have different problems that people in other country part of the country don't have and they deal with other issues that we don't have a clue about. So it's interesting to do that but yet on the gardening and even the livestock there are still common things that we all can learn from each other and that's what we're thankful about is the wealth of, uh, of knowledge that is shared and the wealth of friendship and com community. It is, it is a community. Definitely is. So those are the five things we're thankful for and we want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas when it gets around. We're gonna be pretty busy this and Christmas. We wish I you all many wait. blessings in the coming new year. <laughs> so with that we will say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello everyone. As we come up on the holiday seasons. What you're gonna hear is just a short video of some things that I'm thankful for. And this idea actually comes from another YouTuber named Lily from Sweetwater Diaries. And the idea was for a few of us to share what we are thankful for with each other and then combine our videos so that we can share what we are thankful for with you. So the first thing I'm thankful for is that we have a loving God that loves me no matter what, where I failed him. It's the grace, the mercy, and the love that He shows for me. And it's a gift that I'm honestly not worthy of receiving, but thankful that He is such a loving Father to not only me, but to you too. The second thing I'm thankful for is my family, especially my wife. She's a loving wife, a great woman, a compassionate woman, and honestly, I don't deserve her. She loves me and my two sons unconditionally. Sometimes she even says she raises three kids, so I guess I'm included in that number. But she truly is an amazing woman. The third thing I'm grateful for is my health. A few months back I was di diagnosed as a pre-diabetic, and since then I've lost about 20 pounds, but more importantly I've lost about 50 points on my sugar. The fourth thing I'm grateful for is the rest of my blood family, my church family, my friends, and even my co-workers. These people mean more to me than they'll ever know, because if we don't have each other's backs, who will? The final thing I'm grateful for is you, my YouTube connections. The friendships I've made with other vloggers over the past couple of months has been amazing. Meeting some of you in person has opened up a world that I never knew and I hope to meet many more of you in the future. So from my family to yours, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving, a Merry Christmas, and pray that God continues to bless you in your life as he's done in ours. Hey everybody, Nathan here with Samson Farms, and I was asked uh, a couple weeks ago to do a collab with uh, Sweetwater Diaries and a few other channels that I'm gonna link in the description. <clears throat> So once you're done watching this video, be my guest and please go check them out. I'd greatly appreciate it. And it was uh, five things you're thankful for this year. I've got way more than five, but go ahead and do the five. And uh, one of them is my family and their good health. Uh, I'm always thankful about that. Another thing that I'm thankful for is we had a good harvest this year. Uh, we worked hard and we got it done. So, always thankful for that. Uh, rain's going to start coming harder, so I'm going to go sit up underneath the awning. Let's see, something else that I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for the ability to get all the irrigation system we did this year. That was a very nice blessing, very helpful blessing. 
Didn't have to turn it on much because the weather was great this year, but I'll have it next year. And for any years where it's not so good. Uh, I was fortunate to be able to double the capacity of my hatchery. That was that was that's something to be thankful for for me, and uh, is a blessing. All being able to hatch all those eggs, all those new quail, all the new bloodlines we pulled in, and another blessing that I'm really thankful for, which you can't hardly see it, is that old beast. Uh, it's our new vehicle we got at the beginning of the year. We had lost our other vehicle uh, due to some hard times. Uh, ridiculous payment for a used truck to begin with that I was paying for. But I was able to get that one and I owned it outright. So can't nobody tell me nothing about it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy the channels that I've linked down below. And I've added to this video. It's going to be a big video with everybody's. Not as always, guys. God bless. Well, that concludes this collaboration. We want to thank all of the uh, members of the YouTube channels that were a part of this. And it's been a wonderful uh, time. Uh, we want to thank all of our subscribers for watching and all of the new subscribers and people that come in. So if you like what you saw, please go and visit each of the channels and like and subscribe. Uh, in the comments below say something you're thankful for because we enjoy reading your comments and see what everybody is is doing in their lives so with that yes. uh, we thank you for stopping by and you have a yes. great day and a wonderful holiday season thank you